Hey, do I have to mute? I don't want to mute. What's happening? Phew. No, st stop. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Hold, please. I'm just giving a little shout out to somebody here. All right. Hi, everybody. How we doing out there? Uh, Q loves you coming to you live. I'd get a little shout out to my cousin back in Minnesota. Uh, a little song he does. It's actually live in the town where I was born in. Uh, so Hula Creek, which is my cousin Craig Milliburn. Um, so good stuff. It's on Facebook. Just a little shot there. So feel free to go check that out. But thank you all. Q loves you live. Um, we have a great show for you coming back. Throw out Thursdays. We are back. Um, a little bit of comedy finally, I think, for all those that have been around for Thursday or the Romantic Monday and for the previous Thursday, getting a little deep. We needed some laughters after all the all the, uh, all the the things that are going on here. Uh, so glad to be back here. Really, really stoked to be back here. Um, also wanted to give a little shout out to uh, my buddies. If you're in Southern California, if you're living from Malibu down to Dana Point, anywhere in that way, uh, down there uh, my buddies have a, a business called may day beach rentals which is awesome if you ever want to go to the beach and uh hang out they basically you call them up you set it up they go down to the beach early for you they bring all the chairs all the tables all the coolers everything you need it's a really killer business especially when you don't want to be walking around lugging stuff they pick it up drop it off it's amazing um so may day beach rentals on instagram or you can dm me or email me if you know my number shoot me a text if you ever want to do something like that it's awesome tell them q sent you 20% off for anybody that does that. So really exciting, a lot of fun, especially with summertime coming on. But uh, you know what? We got a great, great show. We've got the uh, the amazing uh, Johnny Cardinales in in house tonight. We're gonna have Natasha Pearl Hansen coming on board. She's amazing. Dave Forseth is coming on board. But of course, I need to go ahead and introduce my favorite host in the uh, in the uh, world. I guess you would say. Uh, Mr. Uh, Patrick Nay, everybody. Let's get you unmuted there, Patrick. Oh, my God. You unmuted me. Oh, You're fine. such a good boy. I've Thank tried. You. I've tried so hard to, to you know, do that. For, I wanted your voice to come out, Patrick. I really Well, thank to. you, Q. And yeah. thank you for that nice opening. Uh, I'll take uh, two acres of beach Saturday. Have your guys set it up. I don't want to see anybody but me. This is just for me. I'm going out on the beach. I want it all free. That's free advertising. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Well, Johnny C and the Hizzy, what's I happening? It's it. for Seth. The funny Natasha. What's happening? What's up, everybody? Can you, you hear me? Awesome. Can you guys not afford it? Oh, I was going to say, can you guys not afford uh, electricity in Wisconsin there? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm un can I unmute for a second? You're, you're unmuted. You're unmuted. <laughs> um, oh, are, you, are you vaping or smoking or what is that? Yeah, vaping. he's high I, as a kite. I, I picked one up the other day. There's a vape shop by my parents' house. Hey, guys, you hear that? The other day? Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Six days ago, I bought like five of these and I'm plowing through them. I think I'm stressed about coming back to LA. <laughs> well, have you been in Wisconsin? <laughs> I've been here for three months. I've been in Ohio for three months. Oh, my March God. 6th, March 6th, I've been here since. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Is, is it? Isn't there like a train you guys can just jump on that's going west? You know what I mean? Like like the like they did in the olden days in the depression. I mean, it's like What do you mean the old days? <laughs> We're in it. We're in the depression. In the depression. I know. Like, Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Johnny C, I can see you like with a with a case of uh Corona light as your pillow heading out on the old 562 <laughs> out of Sioux City, Iowa. Like, my let's PBR, do this. My PBR knapsack, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing but class. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what amazing. are we living in these times? I'm telling you. Well, hey, we are I living. am glad you guys are here because you guys are like my comfort food from comedy. Like, I know I'm safe when you guys are here. So it's good. We're going to have fun tonight. 
Um, I got to tell you right off the bat that um, I, uh, we got a new dog and uh, that's really amazing for us because um, I think it's, um, it's uh, part terrier, part Karen. Cause this fucking thing is like an asshole. And it's like, <laughs> I try, it's the cutest dog in the world. I think it's Lutheran. They don't tell you when you get it, but it is really, really an asshole. And um, I mean, it bit the fuck out of me. And I was like, I was pointing my finger, lecturing it. It, it like sliced my finger, like, you know, like a cokehead's razor blade. So anyways, um, that is number one. Uh, number two, uh, I, you know, I've been down in Santa Monica. It's, it's, they beat the hell out of it, you know, in the last couple of weeks. Horrible. And, um, Horrible. and I saw a sign that said from, you know, the line scooters, it's like, we're all in this together. And I thought, no, we're not. Fuck you, line scooters. I hated you before this. And, and if anything, I hate you more because you probably gave a, a thousand people COVID-19 with your dirty pieces of shit. They get thrown all over the place. <laughs> All right. Is that, is that, am I ranting? I don't think so. All right. So, yeah, but somebody asked me, they're like, you know, these people are like, how are you? How are you? And uh, basically, I've been saying, I, right now, I feel like, you know, when um, Al Pacino and Scarface lifts his head up on the desk from the mountain of cocaine, that's kind of uh, that's where I am mentally. So, uh, <laughs> things are going good here in Crazy Town. Um, I, I, I hooked up, you know, I've been talking to a lot of old friends. You guys talking to old friends, old people, Q making phone calls. You're always on the phone. Yeah. 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 You're bit. talking to Q goes to, goes to Minnesota a couple of weeks ago to go do some kind of deal. I don't know. Like it, next thing you know, all hell breaks That's loose. That's where you go to do a deal. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, my, nick, my nickname's Q Tifa, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so and all hell breaks loose um and uh but i i actually i've caught up with some old friends um i was talking to my old college buddies and uh uh we were talking about fraternity nicknames and uh my n nickname was lady boner and uh, i wasn't in a fraternity which is kind of weird but okay um good time. Wait, what was your nickname <laughs> lady boner so uh <laughs> And I wasn't in a fraternity. I mean, what? Come on. Well, what was your what was it? What was your team mascot name? What was your team? Oh, name? Uh, it was the Fighting DUIs. You know, that was Illinois State. Yeah, that was uh, true. Right. <laughs> you want to talk about asshole cops? Wow. They normal Illinois. I mean, if they pulled you over, you were getting a Dewey. So, anyways, you know, it's like people have been talking about the cops and like. Everybody has those, that friend that's a cop that is like has has got like does stuff like get your friends out of DUIs. I mean, that's a whole nother like segment of like what cops get away with, <laughs> you know. I mean, it is a fraternity, so that's a whole nother thing that I won't get into. But I'll tell you what, Natasha, you'll love this. Um, I've been I've been listening to books on tape. Really, really good stuff. You ever do yeah. that? Oh, yeah. yeah, and. Uh, uh, I, I was listening to uh, the book A Raisin in the Sun, read by Sean Hannity. So that was, um, <laughs> come on, I did not know that. Uh, and uh, let's see, what else could I possibly, oh, you know what? My first foray back into uh, the real world, because they've been opening stuff. I know you're in Wisconsin and Johnny C. you're in Ohio, but they started to open stuff out here. And I actually went to McDonald's oh. and I got the vegan quarter pounder, which was amazing. It's called a McVegan. And the funny thing is, is that um, I learned a valuable lesson that organic diarrhea is exactly the same as regular. Um, <laughs> all right. That's for Wisconsin. My mom's dying at that one. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Thanks, mom. Thanks. <laughs> yes. See, she, you, you guys have a nice dog. That is like a real terrier. I have this freaking Karen part, thing. Huh? She's part Karen terrier also. She's All right. All right. Okay. Right, because Toto, which we had growing up, yeah. we had a dog named Fergie who was a Karen We terrier. had Toto in 1938? You were growing up in 1938? Right, right. I was like the little <laughs> rascal. I thought we were in the Depression. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> this is already going off the rails, too. Yeah. 
real God, quick. Remember when Harriet quick. Tubman was our substitute teacher? <laughs> <laughs> right. Boy, she had some stories. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, so, man. you know, I've this week, um, I've been, you know, I'm trying to like stay off social media and like, um, somebody sent a thing, a text, like, what are the what have you ever ghosted anybody because it's like we're all trying to come together and i'm like have i ever ghosted anybody and i know in la that's like a typical thing but um i guess the only thing i, I ghosted was my student loans because um <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> let me cross that off the list of funny things that i've done um all right uh Oh my God, where are we? Are we? Where are we? I think we're good. I'm gonna just move this along because you guys are way funnier and have lots of things to say. And and there is a real Karen Terrier. So we had a Karen Terrier who was named after Ferguson Jenkins of the Cubs, Fergie Jenkins. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. No. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you. Star, yes. Thank you, Johnny C. Thank hey, you. OT. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He was a hip dude. Um. So. I don't. What happened to Dave Forsyth? He's there. Oh, he's he, there. I don't see him on the uh, the bat vision. Oh, I see him. I got him here. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. Well, he's going first, right? Yes, he is. All right. Um, one of my favorite people, one of the funniest guys, tells it like it is. Believes in the world. Believes in you. He will. <laughs> he will drive you crazy to the point of you need to check into like a psychiatric ward. Um, and he will always get you drunk. Uh, please welcome my very funny pal, the hilarious David Forseth, everybody. Come on! Forskin yeah. Fury! Hey. All right, where is he? Where uh, is he? There he is. Dave, David. come to life, baby. Dave, you on? Oh, where's his, where's his volume? Dave needs to unmute himself. No, he's not. I don't see mute. Uh, there's never a problem. Got me. Yep, there you are. There you uh, go. Uh, <laughs> so I said, what a glowing introduction. My mom is weeping with joy right now. He'll drive uh, you crazy to the point of suicide and always get you drunk. Thanks, Pat. That's really <laughs> I'd like to point out the fact that Pat Nay adopts a white dog and names her Karen. Talk about setting someone up for the <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Have you watched no. the news lately? Don't be a Karen. Hey, honey, what should we name the dog? I mean, she's white. <laughs> I said it's not Karen. The guy adopts a dog from the rescue and then bitches about the fact it's got issues. He's like, I know it was, uh, it was probably abused, left for dead at the pound, but I can't believe it's got baggage. It tried to bite me. <laughs> but I named it Karen. <laughs> oh, man. Happy quarantine, everybody. Yeah. Happy quarantine. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not eating my feelings. I'm devouring them. Okay. I am slurping them down. It's disgusting. I just had a bunch of cookies today and I was like, I should probably have some pizza. Like what the fuck is happening you know, <laughs> every day? Dude. It's hard not to drink when you're in quarantine. You're, I mean, every day you wake up, you're like, I'm not drinking today. I'm going to change the world. Things are going to happen. And then the clock rolls around and you're like, well, Senor Tito's, como estas? <laughs> I mean, it's awful, man. I mean, it's hard not to get banged up when, the, you know, the Mount Everest of accomplishments in your week are doing a load of laundry, push ups by the pool. <laughs> like, I'm having a cocktail. I'm having several. That's pretty much happening. Hell yeah. I've gotten so fat and puffy and tan, I'm like a white trash George Hamilton right now. <laughs> Zorro. <laughs> Somebody give me a mask. Wait, we all have one. <laughs> Best line yeah. of the night. No, serious. It's like, well, I'm not working today. I'm not working tomorrow. I'm not working next month. Where's that bottle of Tito's? Da me mas. You know? I don't know, man. I go on Facebook and everyone is like, this quarantine, you know, they, they've gotten four PhDs. You know, they found God, wrote a novel, you know, fell in love with their spouse again. I gained five pounds and mastered day drinking. <laughs> That's pretty much <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you drink alone? Yeah, my son's five. If I'm getting shit <laughs> him at one in the morning, I really have a problem. I'm drinking alone right now. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. You know? Anyways, I don't know, man. It's uh, If you want to feel like really just recognize what a loser you are, just go on Facebook for 30 seconds and look at your friends. I didn't know that all my unemployed actors had 45 PhDs in molecular biology, uh, gun rights, constitutional scholars. You know what I mean? Just type in something that kind of questions the narrative and wow. 
you're a racist, homophobic, non-gender pig. I didn't know. That. I didn't know that. But it's exciting. It's a lot of fun. Every day, like all the, the agenda kind of changes too. Like friends of mine are like, it's you know uh, the border wall. We're one world, no borders, one race, one color. Now it's like I celebrate diversity. If you don't like different cultures, then you're a racist. I'm like, just gave me the fucking roadmap, dude. I'm trying to see whose birthday it is right now. God damn it, you know. Anyways, yeah, it's going well though. Um, I uh, been a bartender at the same restaurant for 20 years. I had brown hair and hope when I started there. And uh, I went down today <laughs> to refill out, uh, fill out the rehire paperwork. And I started crying in the car with my son in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bartender. Yeah, one of my last weeks before the quarantine, this woman walked up that came in, I don't know, two decades ago and was like, what are you still doing here? Like, Good question. When I have the answer, I'll let you know. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> But they're opening restaurants. Pat, I think you, uh, he's Pat's a somo yay. If anyone wants to get some great wine, uh, these guys also do uh, shows on the side, but he's a great guy to come to with questions and concerns about your alcoholism. He can answer that readily. Um, but have you guys seen like the regulations they have for restaurants? Like you got, you have to wait in your car until you're, they text or call you. A, we live in Los Angeles. Okay. Where the fuck am I going to sit in in a car at a parkside location? Okay. They, they get you individually, walk you straight to your table. When you get there, you can take your mask off when the food and drinks come. And then when you're finished, you have to get up and leave promptly. And they're supposed to put your, your linens in a sealed bag and leave it and apparently burn the parking lot. Okay. <laughs> this is like eating a Chernobyl for your death roll meal. I mean, who is going to do this? It's ridiculous. You know, and they no have one. like sanitation no stations one. every six feet. There's rubber gloves, masks, hats, there's wipes, there's liquids, there's sprays, all this. Hey, fuck the environment. We're going out to eat tonight. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. The people that write this stuff have clearly never eaten in a restaurant, let alone worked in one. You cannot function like this. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. But all right, I sound like my father right now. Is this, is this a commercial? <laughs> What's going on? That's good. <laughs> um yeah i mean i just I'm, i can't wait to go back to work though q pat like you've been in the rest of a long time with all these regulations and just like you know just, just plastic screens and stuff and you know everyone's got aids and hepatitis and the, the covid and something else like who knows what right are they still gonna bitch about having too much ice in their water you know yeah, <laughs> yeah let it melt big brain how about that let's focus on this what would you do if you had a real problem like covid shut up ass nuts you know <laughs> like, my table's six feet from the window not three i'm calling a manager yeah, go outside and show some shit, dick nuts. Shut up. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't take it. Have you started yet? Okay, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I talked about the Facebook theme. That was good stuff. Um, I was uh, back in Montana. Well, I grew up in Montana. Here's a story that Johnny will appreciate. I was in my early 20s. Um, I got, a, I had a C average in high school, in public school in Montana. So college was probably not an issue. And, uh, uh, I decided I would try modeling. <laughs> so I went to New York City and Miami, and then I ended up in Milan, Italy. And I, when I woke up in a park with leaves in my hair and hash in my pocket, I was like, maybe I should go back to Montana and uh, start that acting career, because that sounds way more promising. So I went back to Montana, and I got a construction job. And I was doing road construction, which is putting an asphalt and guardrail. And this is in the early 90s and the long bangs were down to here and holes in the jeans. Remember that? Like the, the you know, stone temple pilots and that shit was hot. <laughs> so I go out to this place called Ecolaca, Montana. That's where Sitting Bull used to have his medicine rights. We're talking in the middle of Montana, fucking nowhere, right? So I get out there and I go into the one bar in the small town and I walk in uh, and it just gets kind of quiet and they're looking at me and this guy's like, nice hair, you fucking homo. And I was like, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. And uh, I ordered a Coors Light, ordered a Coors Light and the bartender goes, we don't serve that cheerleader beer here, boy. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, what? I just want a Coors Light. And he goes, you squat to piss. <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy thing is, I do. I was like, how did he know that? That's incredible. <laughs> These guys are psychic. And he collect them. Was, I mean, my dad was raised with four brothers. And uh, finally, his mom was like, I got five sons and a husband. They're always drunk, pissing off the floor. I have to have fishing waiters to walk in the goddamn bathroom. Everyone's sitting down to pee. So my dad's like, you're sitting down too. That's a four-step custom. And when I was in Ecolaca, I was like, apparently it's national news. I didn't know that. So anyways, that's my Montana story. How are we doing, guys? Wow. Happy quarantine. You're good. I would like to say there are times where I have squatted being sitting down. You know what I mean? Yeah, to keep your back, down, you gotta, 
every room I've ever had is like, yeah. that's what, you know, like all the, the homophobic, whatever stories. But then you're like, when you turn educate them out, they're like, that's actually a great idea. And also when you have a girlfriend, you're single, guys, <laughs> just so you know, when they come to your apartment, your bathroom is, is, yes. is, is like spotless clean. They want to marry you. Yes. Have, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have to you have to squat when you're like, yeah, you have to if you're ever in relationships, it's kind of the thing. Otherwise, it's all over the place. It happens. It's things. So you got to learn to I mean, to sit on the on occasion, if, if your toilet, and your shower are clean, you're getting oral cue. That's how that's how it works. You know, and in your 20s, yeah, but, you're like, that is worth the Lysol. <laughs> but Dave, you, the thing is, you're very I know you're, you're totally into that kind of toilet stuff because you told me you were dating some chick years and years ago and you're like. Yeah, she left the bathroom, but she didn't flush it. It looked like an owl got hit by a train in my toilet. Like, oh, yeah, that was, that was intrepid. <laughs> what does yeah. that even mean? <laughs> no, it was a, an owl, a spotted owl got hit by a school bus. I, think the, <laughs> <laughs> I come home, she's like, you're doing that comedy shit again. <laughs> she's all drunk. I'm like, you, I knew I was. that's what I did when you met me. And she's just yelling at me from the couch. I was home late from a show. Was, of all things, O'Brien's. Like a four, the, the, there's a, a shitty Irish bar in Santa Monica that had like 16 comics and one, co and like one audience member. You know, hey, I ran that relationship show. <laughs> over that show. So I come home and she's yelling at me. I go in the bathroom and the toilet was just like, I'm like, I mean, did you fall down when you sat down? Like, what happened? Yeah. I just walked out and I was like, well, this is going nowhere. So, anyways. <laughs> I mean, also, how do you do that in someone else's toilet? Like maybe at home when you're when you're alone. But I mean, I was sabotaged. I thought she upper decked me, but she didn't. So, anyways, uh, Wisconsin, you'll get that joke. I'm sorry, Mom, <laughs> it's not, it's not really adult rated. I'm so sorry. So, and that last thing, uh, unless you guys have a little color in my hair, because I had to put myself on tape. They wanted somebody late 30s, early 40s, and I'm pretty white. Uh, my hair. I'm also speaking about. So I'm dying my hair the other day, and I'm, I, I have such a quarantine puff bod. And I'm dying my hair and my back goes, Pah! and I go, oh, fuck. I walk out and I sat down on the couch and I said to my, I go, just hold on. And she goes, what, Whitey? And I go, I, I, and she goes, did you hurt your back dying your hair? <laughs> oh my God. My son's like, that's terrible, dad. Like, I'm like, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. They call that Grecian formula syndrome. <laughs> Dude, how does that happen? I, I mean, when I'm 90, Green I like, wake up and have like an eyelid and a testicle stuck to the couch. I'm like, oh, that nap. You know, it's like, this is bad. Anyways, uh, that was pretty fun, you guys. Happy quarantine. Am I done? Was that was that seven minutes? I don't know. Are you? That's uh, you're I think, on a I roll. Think three more minutes of four sets. Three more minutes. <laughs> three more. Good job. <laughs> Johnny was texting me uh, the other night at like, like like six in the morning your time. He still loved telling me how he loves me, and I was like, someone oh. has had a few beers. <laughs> this, this guy can't hug like, from across yeah, the he, county. He, like usually, he waits till seven. <laughs> I mean, the dog, like, like super affection for him is like this. Good to see you, bro. He's you know? <laughs> like, oh, good man. I was like, oh, Lord Jesus. I mean, I love you too, but maybe you should catch a meeting. You know, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Here's how I decide my love. When when Dave's bartending and I get the bill, I decide as soon as I open how much I love him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to get down there, Dave. I got to come and see you. Yeah. You know, you, I was, still have it. What are you waiting for, bro? Oh, I know. Uh, yeah. The pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, you guys, through this whole thing, uh, uh, I was brushing Sawyer's teeth about two weeks ago. My son's five. You guys don't know him. Um, and he looked at me and said, this is wonderful, Dad. Uh, I don't get to see you like this when you're at work. And it really, it just warmed my heart. And uh, I know this is a, a really brutal, horrific time for a lot of people in so many ways. But I, I think that there's going to be incomprehensible growth and positivity that will come out of this. And we're going to be a better, a better culture, better people. We're going to be more in tune with our families and those that we love and why we love them and what, what we want to do with that. So I just like to raise that and say, uh, here's a toast to that. Cause there's some really people here on this that I love and adore. So cheers, cheers. you guys. Always cheers. want to see cheers. I miss you dog. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Well, that was great, Dave. All right. Dave four says everybody. Dave, that was, <clears throat> that was beautiful in the end, but you don't know my family. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> you had me. You had me at ten, and then you lost me with the family thing. Zero. Oh, <laughs> Are you man. kidding me? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, my mom is. Insane. It's good to see you guys. You too, Dave. Dave very, you, very Dave. funny. Awesome. I sometimes I like to let you just wind you up and let you go because yeah, you no, know, it's very, it's all those truths. You know, you you you're original to the core, dude. Very funny. Very funny. Thanks, One more time, give it up for that. 
for that Dave Forsap. And it's I'm going to grab day. another beer. I'll be right back. Go for it. <laughs> All, right. Or, uh... All right. Well, uh, I mean, that was great. Where's is Johnny C? Is he still there? I don't see no, him. He, on the, uh... I don't know if he fell. He fell off. I'm not sure. He's... Uh oh. Maybe maybe he's drinking again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <'cause laughs> <'cause>, literally. <laughs> yes, I I see. Well, I mean, why don't we? Um, there he is. He's back. Here he is. All right. <clears throat> I think you might have had a computer glitch too. Yeah. He's got dial up there in Ohio. Does. It can't get much better than that. <laughs> and I do not. Oh, wait. He's coming to life. He's coming to life. He's Johnny back. C. There you go. Johnny C. Wait, 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 wait. Can you put somebody else to the Wi Fi on my computer is still working. So I'm on, I'm on cell right now. I'd rather do it on my computer where I can see everybody. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. You can, if you I want can to go jump, ahead. Yeah, you yeah. want to jump off and go to Natasha? Uh, so I annoying. Option, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it happened to be the other night. Happened to be the other night. Happened to be the other night. Computer died. Right? Okay, so yeah. I'm on my phone right now, and I'm, I'm I've never done a I've never done a Zoom by my phone. Otherwise, I'd be okay with that. I, I'd rather just get it back on my computer. It's just sure. jump off, I, jump I, off, let Natasha go. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. All right. Well, let's do this, so, Natasha is Thank here you. and she's got her cozy robe on and mm -hmm. and mom is right there you know who looked like was knit, knitting there for a second with the precious pooch but hi mom how are you <laughs> um and by the way it's june first of all i'm uh, offended by that cold in wisconsin pooch. right what it shouldn't be that cold in wisconsin right it's not it's just like cozy oh nighttime cozy you guys are like pretending you're camping yeah. Okay. I know yeah. that one. I know that one. Um, yes. Well, Glamping. You know what? I'm very, I'm very excited because you're, you're making a, uh, a return to Los Angeles. And let me just tell you, you know, uh, uh, I think a lot of people have left, <laughs> to be really honest. A lot of people have left. And uh, the prices have not gone down, as you would expect. Um, let's see what else is happening. Uh, they, they tore up the city, um, but we're making progress. So I can't wait to see you in person. And without further ado, so so ado, come on, Let Natasha Pearl Hansen. Yay. Come on. Yay. Yay. Oh, my God. It's, yeah, it's crazy. I've been here in Wisconsin with my family for three months. And um you know, obviously as comics, when everything shuts down, I had a crazy year planned of touring a crazy summer. I was supposed to be the entire month of August. I was supposed to be um, doing my one woman show in the Edinburgh uh, Comedy Festival, making my debut. Oh, wow. so Who else was on that show with you? What? My one woman oh, show? Well, on that show with me you. and my, my <laughs> anus. <laughs> my <laughs> anus? My anus. That was a setup. <laughs> That's the funniest retort I've ever heard. <laughs> Isn't that the most anus. Wisconsin response you've ever heard in your life? <laughs> your ain't it. Your mom. That's like a your mom joke from the 90s. Um, no, but I mean, it's as soon as things started to shut down, I was like, you know, freaking out about money. I was like, man, I'm losing all this money for the summer that I was planning on having. Since I've been in Wisconsin, I just checked my bank statement the other day. I spent like four dollars. Wow, good for <laughs> like you. Life. I'm like, ah! I've become the manifestation of the Cheshire cat. I just wear fuzzy bathrobes all day long. Been on Zoom shows. I've picked up vaping. I just have people come into my home and I tell them what to do, make them leave. It's like fantastic. Um, in Wisconsin, uh, golf courses started opening god a couple weeks ago which has been really fun because i love to drink and drive uh, <laughs> the one place didn't, didn't. It was the one place you can do it you and not do it anybody right. well, um my parents are getting too used to having me around my mom my mom is actually funnier than me mom sit down i'm performing right now sit the fuck down sorry i just <laughs> forget that this is a comedy club this right now is a comedy club and she forgets that well, saying fuck to me isn't funny. <laughs> she, she's still my mom. That was pretty funny, though. Uh, that was good. Today we were at lunch your mom. My mom twins are they are they related? Because that was hi Blake. Nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you we were at the... mouth. When you talk like that, it's just not handsome anymore. Oh dear God. My mom. My mom like 
messes with my grandma all the time. My grandma lives here too. And she's always fun with my grandma. My grandma's like, what are you going to do if I like forget what I'm doing one day? If I lose my mind, my mom's like, I'll just keep, I'll just pretend that you're the maid and convince you that you're the maid. And so <laughs> my mom's always fucking with my grandma. And so today we're at the river having lunch, me, grandma, and mom. It sounds like such a Wisconsin thing. We're, oh, yeah, we're at the river, of course. Oh yeah, the river. Yeah, of course. And I know the exactly what you're saying. The waitress comes over and she's handing my grandma her salad and she goes, you want some silverware to go with this? And my mom goes, no. Sometimes we make her eat with her hands just to keep her dexterity up. She's getting really old. <laughs> this is the kind of shit my mom does in public all the time. My mom, I never talk about my mom on stage, so it's actually really fun to have to write about my mom. Um, she has this thing that she's been doing the entire three month quarantine where she makes a cake like every four days she's just wow. in the mood for a piece of cake wow so unlike somebody from wisconsin right yeah. <laughs> she makes an entire cake like every four days and then every day she'll come into a room like multiple times a day you guys want a piece of cake no nobody wants cake every day like clockwork by the third day she comes in at some point randomly in the evening and just screams nobody's eating the cake <laughs> I keep making all this cake. Nobody's eating cake. I'm like, mom, nobody else wanted cake. And I'm like, why do you keep making so much cake? She's like, it's a cake. I can't make less than one. <laughs> Love it. One box. <laughs> I'll move there for so, cake. Yeah. yeah. There's definitely a business there for somebody out there to just make portioned cakes. I guess it's called cupcakes. Um, yeah. And both <laughs> are a business. <laughs> but that's, we call them. Por we call them portion cakes. Find Right. You would never find that business in Wisconsin. It no. would suffer tremendously. In LA, it works perfectly because everyone's like, oh, perfect, a little mini cake. It's just a mini cake for me. Oh, man. Um, we've, we're just in a crazy time, guys. It's, um, you know, I come... I come from a mixed family and a lot of people don't know that, but my mom is half black. Um, and so I... I'm constantly getting commented on about my tan since I was like five women would come to me when I was five and be like you have such a pretty tan where were you I'm like Jamaica what the fuck do you think I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> I just got back from vacation thanks for asking it was amazing um yeah and there was this lady in the in the uh the bodega that we or went at least into. you weren't combative about it right <laughs> <laughs> I was hey really where'd you get that tan fucking Jamaica <laughs> I'm five. I'm oh, rich, man. Fuck no. Like we're in Wisconsin. We're in the snow. Just thought you had fun. Sorry for asking. Yeah. I had this wow. woman. Wow. Was the looking nerve at me of and she's like staring at my arm and she's like, You're so tan. You look so tan. Where have you been? You're so tan. I'm like, oh, this is just DNA. And she was like, Oh, DNA. Is that a spray on tanner from L'Oreal? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! No, no. Was hey, by the way, I'm not saying like, you're tan, but you're but but you're George Hamilton. If you said the George Hamilton joke, it would have worked better than Dave Forces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine worked pretty well, dog. That was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It worked. Well, it's, always, it it's always weird to convince people that you're mixed when you just look like this like my mom's dominican sicilian and black but my dad is norwegian so that just makes me a tan white bitch like i have no jurisdiction anywhere <laughs> yeah my dad was drunk white and stupid so like i, I get it <laughs> oh my God. and i was um let's see what else do i want to talk about my um i just hit my my 10-year anniversary of doing stand-up hey. yeah like a couple days ago um was a really fun celebratory time with everything going on. I'm just kidding. Um, but my in January, my relationship of nine years ended. So uh, comedy was my longest relationship until now. Comedy's dead. So <laughs> 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 I'm in a new relationship with a thing called Zoom. I hope everybody's familiar. Get familiar with it fast. All I want to do is zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Whoa. Come on. Uh -huh. um, oh, Nelly. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Speaking of songs, which that's totally a good lead in for Johnny. Um, every <laughs> night, every single night, me and my dad play cards, right? And we always put on Alexa. Um, what game? What game? What do you play? We play 313 and we play golf. 
You need to, we need to connect because I play Crazy Ace with my girl every night too, but I need, we need new games. We'll yes. Play, Crazy Ace. We what are you, 90? We'll, we'll do a game <laughs> night back in LA. Um, this, my what dad, is this, not cool? <laughs> my, my, like out of my I would camp, play Old Maid. Old Maid is a good one. We actually got my grandma Old Maid cards that are like giant. <laughs> Man, I remember those. You're like She this? gets so mad. She gets like so mad. I would too. Like the like cell <laughs> Holy crap. I'm ordering Old Maid tomorrow. Dude, tomorrow. Hey, grandma, oh. look. You're old. Isn't that hilarious? We started, we started, we started, we started yeah. playing, we started playing Zoom Yahtzee. What a, Old Maid is probably hey, like. Hey, what are the chances? Come on, guys. Wordplay? What? Come on. <laughs> Wordplay. I actually Yachty, played Monopoly Yachty, the other night for the first time in ages, and I forgot how much I hate that game. Monopoly is so terrible. I love women hate Monopoly. I like Monopoly. My oh my god, we played a lot of Monopoly in the last couple of years. Can't yeah, lie, I mean, lost every Monopoly's time. Monopoly's a great name, and I don't care what anybody says. The Dane Cook bit was hilarious because that was Monopoly. Oh yeah, I barely remember that. But that was a good bit. I don't yeah, care if it was I never solid. heard it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So that was when I really, that was when Dan Cook was hilarious. And that was like a really fun event. We're playing Clue, <laughs> the game Clue a lot. Uh, and um, we I just know, watched been, that movie last week. But, it, but it's, it's not a base in the board game, is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Clue, my yeah. Want, my girlfriend want to watch it. Oh, oh really? It was yeah, like, like, right. If they would have done it right, they would have made it a choose your own adventure because you really don't know, like nobody ever knows who did it with the candlestick and where. That would have been such a cool exactly. version. Exactly, the candlestick, exactly. 15 right. different like, endings. Like, <laughs> but like, how would you, like, how is Miss Scarlet gonna kill somebody with a candlestick? Not happening, sorry. It's I no mean, possible, it's like, you... I've done it. <laughs> this is live. Oh. Do not. Um. There are no I've edits. Been hiding her. I've been, she's been on high, just. <laughs> but my dad, like, dad and I, well, first of all, if anybody wants to play fun tricks, if they're still in quarantine with their family, the Amazon Alexa, you can add things to the shopping list. So every time I walk by Alexa, I'll just like throw something random on the shopping list. And my mom will call me one every week when she goes to the store and be like, what why is there a cabana boy? <laughs> on the shopping list <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man a> boy. <laughs> like there's all this weird shit on the shopping list i'm like oh, no. i don't know alexa's just eavesdropping she knows things and uh um, oh, you get like my... the, the, the ingredients of meth mom i need some hydrochloric acid um <laughs> <laughs> some rope a couple a couple some duct tape some duct tape <laughs> some i, I killed a person with a candlestick <laughs> <laughs> me and dad we listen to 70s music when we play cards and um my dad it's interesting because i'm like exactly between my parents genetically i look like an exact mix of them and i'm exactly between them in personality my mom is like fucking fun and crazy and super funny all we the can time. tell my dad is, <laughs> my dad is like under like he's the kind of person that does the under the breath like little punches that you, nobody would really ever hear yeah and uh when what's he that game something about humanity oh cards against humanity he's cards of humanity cards against humanity yeah. he's that guy that he's against that. humanity and he plays cards <laughs> he's against humanity and he plays cards are you hijacking my i don't even know if this is that anymore but i'll i'll, I'll wrap up after this i'll wrap up after this um my dad and i where there are so many 70s songs that start to come on after you hear them over and over again that you're just like, what the fuck are they talking about? Like, mm. we were listening to Scarborough Fair after like the third oh, time. My come favorite on. time at Garfunkel ever. Yeah, it's so good. But my, my dad, you know, after a couple of beers, he's, you know, he's really soft spoken. So he starts singing along to the song. Natasha. I'm your he's father. Like, I'm sorry. He's <laughs> laughing to himself. He's just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, what's so funny? He's like, Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. And he was like, what kind of fucking hippie carnies are working at this fair? <laughs> what kind of hippie ass carnies are working at this fair? Whenever you ever gone to a fair and thought, oh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to skip the elephant here. I'm going to get some parsley, sage, rosemary. <laughs> so I was like, that's a good point, Dad. Uh, that's a good point. Um, I don't know. I've ripped with you guys enough. I think that's time to, to give Johnny the floor, yeah?
Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Well, okay, hold Go on. Packers. Go First Packers. Of all, oh, whatever. Go yeah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Screw them. Oh. Okay, two things. Number one, oh. like, oh. I think uh, during Natasha's set, Pee Wee Herman was murdered at yes. Dave Forsett's house. Yes. Number one. And um, yeah. Parsley Time, Rosemary, and Sage is like, is like how, how you make like Could Jewish you at least say them in order? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Parsley, I mean, Rosemary, Simon and, and Garfunkel. <laughs> We're talking about Sunday evening. Rosemary was like, maple oh, sauce time you're like a time. really bad cover band. <laughs> <laughs> Parsley, <laughs> Rose, and time. And Mary. Good job, Nick. Rosemary. Right. This has descended into uh, pure <laughs> craziness. All right. <laughs> There's a, n nothing, n nothing will be kept here except for the fact that uh, mom murdered somebody with a candlestick. It's like, what kind of situation were you in? Well, it was right there, and I had to beat the guy over. Anyways, and the rest funny. of us are like, well, well, the rest of us are like, well, better than the wrench. Like, <laughs> yeah. Better than the wrench. Yeah, we need to get our grip. Um. All right. Well, listen, we are on a roll here, so why don't we just roll out the red carpet for Mr. You know, your phone looked pretty good, dog, when you had it on there. I ain't gonna lie. I'm on phone right now. Yeah, you're looking fine. Am I on? You're fine, fine, look okay? No, you're fine. <laughs> you look great. Yeah, the the <laughs> Wi-Fi at my girlfriend's place is <laughs> and she's I making money. I you just money. turn it off trying to get you to go home. Yeah. When are you gonna go home, dude? Stop doing these damn Zoom videos. Are you saying uh, I can't take a hint? <laughs> right, it's like I did, they like, turned up. The, there's no water, this electricity, is like when Dave or Wi-Fi. Forces, and he's like, this is like, when, what's, this is like, this is like when Dave Forces puts the bill down in front of me at the lobster at 7:15 p.m. I'm like, really? <laughs> We're done already? Time to go. Time. You've been cut I don't off, know how to dude. Do you're cut off. You're like, drinking beer at the beach at noon. You come in at seven with the sunburn and sand on your face. You're like, how you doing, dog? <laughs> Not as good as no, you, bro. No, no, no. Out, no. See you tomorrow. <laughs> the truth Johnny's is, like, dog, I don't drink. I don't drink. I'm like, you just had 14 Coronas, dick nuts. <laughs> I don't touch your heart stuff. <laughs> and the funny and the, the funny thing is, I haven't had a single drink until I get there at 6.45 p.m. But by 7.15, I have had 14 Coronas. Okay? Oh, my God. So what was that? How much did that cost? You know why? Because Dave's a good bartender. All right? Yeah. Let's see for that. He's on it. Dave is, like, Dave, Dave is one of those bartenders that when you go in there and he'll treat you like you know, Prince Albert or somebody is like a king. And it's like, like it, you get a bit oh, like, like the dick beyond <laughs> hammered, like to where you can't like walk straight. And then Dave, like, it's like, man, did you see Nay the other night? Man, that guy's got to go look in the mirror, if you know what I mean. It's like, because you got me hammered. I never say that. I'm like, like, did you just see Nay? That was hilarious. <laughs> we were needed, Pat. That was a good time. My mom <laughs> like and I Dave's just like, had a whole let me give this guy his own banana peel to, to, to walk around with. <laughs> Natasha, what were you saying? Your mom, your what? I said we just had a whole little micro conversation about dick piercings. How you guys? Yeah, <laughs> we, Prince <laughs> Albert. How you gonna? Albert. Out of all the princes, <laughs> what out of horses, horses, how did I not see this Wait. coming? Yeah, we can't say. I, how did you not yeah, see that coming? I nice what is happening? <laughs> it's my first thought was what took so long <laughs> she does right. the candlestick she does prince albert's with the candlestick with ca the ow you should have hit that guy wow. with a candlestick wow. well, I, no i didn't i don't do them with the candle i do them while the candles are on i do prince albert in a room with a candle oh my god Hey, you don't nice get... act out. Calm down, Wisconsin. Bring it down a notch. I know you're on the porch <laughs> right. for our neighbors, okay? Right, I thought that was the conservative state in this uh, conversation. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to just give it over to Johnny C., you know, uh, you know what? At this, point, it's, it, at this point, it's all of us. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I don't think we give enough credit to Pat Nay. He adopted a dog, you guys. Come on. Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We're all Very nice. We're all pet lovers. By the way, it's a fact. You guys know this? This is a weird fact. 
if you go to a dog park, if you spend an hour in a dog park in LA, you'll hear the word rescue more than a 911 911 operator will hear in an entire month. Yeah. I, I didn't I didn't yeah. get the joke that well, but it is, it's a good joke. I didn't set it up that well. All right. Uh, it's a good joke. It is a good joke. Right? I'm uh I'm making it through. I, I don't know why. I I don't mean to brag, but I'm making it through this whole last three months. But you know why? I took Brian Wilson's master class in social distancing. Anybody else? Really? <laughs> I get that. <laughs> Thank you. Boy, did I pick the wrong time to become a jazzercise instructor, huh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with the pandemic, just <laughs> life choices. Huh? <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's hard to work out, right? Due to this yeah. freaking, due to this freaking virus, I have not been able to use my gym membership since 2004. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and by the way, if somebody, made a, if somebody made a documentary on COVID-19, would that be a viral video? Come on, guys. Uh, 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 all, I'm, all I'm saying is I haven't done curbside pickup this long, this much in, oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Johnny's 9-11 joke. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just so you know, prostitutes in England get paid by the pound. Just so you know. All right. Never mind. Somebody's killing puppets. You're killing people. Candlestick. Yeah. What is going on? Why yeah, it's like, why is he on heroin? heroin? It's like... <laughs> hey, guys. Guys, can we sign for one second? My girl, she never laughs at my jokes. She's a grown woman. Come on, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Is that Pee Wee Herman? Uh, <laughs> oh, my. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> she's, I swear to God. She's a, she's oh, a dentist. Oh, it is. Out hey. of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> God Almighty, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I do. What's amazing is he lives in a one-bedroom apartment, and he scared the shit out of him just now. It's a two. I'll give you a rest. Right, great, great parenting. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still on me, or is this a complete shit at this point? <laughs> We're still going. We're okay. still going. <laughs> I keep wanting to write a song parody called Smells Like Quarantine Spirit. You guys think that's a good? All right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Definitely. I'll take it. I'll take it. By the way, if the song Stand By Me was released today, that would be considered rebellious. Am I right, guys? <laughs> so uh, hey, man, let's be honest. Airlines are struggling. If like if like Frontier Airlines goes out of business, wouldn't their last flight be the final Frontier? Come on, guys. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, would it be weird if Tom Petty's middle name was Manny? Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right what's that thought about? I, I, really thought it, yeah, I swear to god my memory must be going though because i can only name one spice girl i mean it's scary <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh my god when it comes to relationships girls always say they want the notebook but what, the, but what they really want is a two ring binder Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Uh, Clear throat. Here. <laughs> throat. <laughs> rag all you want. Oh, uh, rag all you want. Uh, if I, yeah, my favorite character in The Wizard of Oz is the Scarecrow. I mean, come on, it's a no brainer. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How's that sleepy time tea going? 
<laughs> my friend asked me one. My friend asked me one time. He goes, "You go to Disneyland?" I said, "More than knots." Uh, no. All right. Oh no! I'd like to uh, hit you with a candlestick after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, just so you know, usually I'm doing these jokes on cruise ships. Okay, <laughs> that's what my career is on cruise ships. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't even be able to join you guys because there's like internet is terrible on cruise ships. In fact, the Wi-Fi on cruise ships is so bad when you send an email. They give you a tracking number. Come on, guys. That's, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when hey, you send an email story. that hey. I have COVID on a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wisconsin. Come on. This is, you know, there's a lot of truck drivers in the Midwest. When a truck driver turns 65, do they semi retire? Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, Confucius say casket put in wrong grave is grave mistake. Uh, I, 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 I meant to say wrong hole. <laughs> hey, here's the, let me ask you what do you guys think about this joke? The boat that wins the America's Cup is a champion ship. Huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, They're gonna defund the police in your town <laughs> after that one. <laughs> hey, just so you know, these one-liners—they are saving my ass on these Zoom shows. Uh, hey, is a Dwayne Johnson impersonator a sham rock? Come on, guys. Uh, yeah. Hey, you think when jo- you think when Dwayne? When Dwayne Johnson's mom <laughs> was a kid, oh, I'm sorry. Let me say this again. You think when Jane, when Dwayne Johnson was a kid, his mom ever got? Okay, let's. Is that whiskey the coffee cup dog or just beer? <laughs> <laughs> the joke was, <laughs> you, you think his mother ever hit rock bottom? I just got a boiler back in his joke. coffee That's cup. A funny joke. Tomorrow, oh. people log back in, and he's still trying to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> is there a tracking number for that jump, Johnny? <laughs> now, listen. All the 80s. now listen, the person who fixes roofs above Big Ben works overtime. Come on, guys. There's a roof. Wait, I got to question the logistics of that. All right, <laughs> I'll send you an email. No, no, no. Ask now. No, th- th- hold on a second. Let's, let's break now. This is actually happening right now. It's a three-year program. They're they're trying to fix the bong on Big Ben. Right. Every stoner I know can fix the bong inside of 45 seconds. Right. <laughs> 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 Stoners need some jobs. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. it's essential. <laughs> By the way, Dave Four said that six foot four sitting there. I went and did a gig for his family up in Montana, like like I don't know, six seven years ago, right, Dave? It was so much fun. I met his nieces. I was like, "How you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "How old are you?" Oh, 12. Really? That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> they're like some. Oh, there's some big people up there. They're tall. They make them big there. <laughs> yeah. my girlfriend is younger than me by considerably it's embarrassing Ooh. I asked when I first met her I go uh, do you like Facebook she goes my dad does oh. she, she goes do you she goes do you TikTok I was like hell yeah I do <laughs> I don't even know what TikTok was that's what I did <laughs> <laughs> but you guys most of you guys know i was uh, uh, natasha you never got married right Mm-mm. good i mean not be good because because i didn't like him but don't get it's good you didn't to the right guy or to the wrong girl. whatever i yeah. got married seven eight years ago wrong girl it ended i caught her cheating five five months in like three days later 
thank God. Oh, but man. I'm glad I got out of it. You know what I mean? Uh, I look back now and I go, eh, what can I have done better? And I go, uh, nothing. She cheated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Yep. Have you been married? Q, have you been married? Uh, yes. Yes. Divorced? Sir. No. Complicated, but no. <laughs> oh no! He changes names three times. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I am current. I am currently separated. Oh. Oh no! It's it's, it's amicable. Wait, where did this just go to? This is yeah. Like... Where do we go? Yeah, we just went down. Hey, this... <laughs> happy time! Happy time! <laughs> happy time. Yeah, Does do anybody want to hear about how my uncle route. got hit by a train? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't mean to go that route. So and here's where I was. Yeah, where was trying to go there? This dog. So, so. Dave was at my wedding. I think Dave. <laughs> that kid is great. Oh, he's great. <laughs> just put a hat on the top. Oh my god! I thought you were snorting cocaine just now. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like that. The kid came up and put a hat on the dummy, right? When you? <laughs> yeah, kind of did. <laughs> What's happening? You has lost control of this show. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is this is what it is. Hey Johnny C, how's uh how's Ray doing? How's your dad doing? Oh, are you kidding me? I always like to hear about what Ray's up to. First of all, my dad loves you guys. He loves all you guys. Um, not me, but he loves all you. (laughs) Uh, My dad's my best friend in the entire world. Uh, he's been through a lot. Mom, is that your mom in the background, Natasha? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. Is she? How many kids have you had? Just one. That was enough. Oh, <laughs> that was enough. Hammer down. Candlestick down. Wow. Candlestick wow. Down. Like a lone dog. Just so you know. I was like, I am no. not doing this again. <laughs> no, 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 no. I spent ten days overseas with Natasha. I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> Handful. Handful. <laughs> Uh, what was your question, Dave? But what, no, what, how's uh, Ray? How's Ray? <laughs> my dad just retired. Give it up for my dad, father. All right. Uh, but he doesn't know what to do himself now. He, well, you know. You know what? I he's getting political on Facebook. You better be careful. Oh, oh my God. He, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. I know because he, he and you guys. I see that stuff. Oh no, I always liked Ray. I mean, I get a kick out of him. I know, but he's getting, he, he, dude. He, he he's always posting on Facebook because he's bored out of his mind. Right. <laughs> well, there's the truth. My dad, my dad's quintessential old school guy. He was a carpenter. He worked construction his whole life. He's up at five a.m. Showered by five fifteen, out the door by five thirty. Now he's retired. He's up at 5 a.m., show over by 15. Nothing to do the rest of the day. <laughs> it's, it's so he does, so his mind is like, he doesn't know what to do. He calls me all the time. He just want, he calls me. He's got seven kids, but he calls me. He leaves me the weirdest, and whatever's on his mind, he just wants to talk about it. I'll get the weirdest <laughs> voicemails. I'll, I'll, I'll my I've got like voicemails in the morning. I'll check them. I'm like, beep. Hey, it's dad. Hey, I'm thinking about going with all white Christmas lights on the tree this year. Give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, it's dad. I was at the video store. I didn't even know they made a Rocky Five. Give me a call. Let me talk. Give me a call. Like, <laughs> you should hang out with my grandma. Oh my they God. should call each other. Oh, really? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why? Why? She crazy? Oh. At least, at least teach her how to use her damn phone. Because I'm so <laughs> sick of getting calls about how to use the phone. <laughs> He's like, We're- I can't push this. I push this and nothing happens. And then I go to the phone and do it, and it works. I told her, I go, let me look at your fingers. I'm like, no wonder your phone's not working. Your hands are so damn wrinkled. The phone's not. It working. sounds like I'm listening oh. to sound effects of a porno right now. Just use your fingers. <laughs> when I touch it, it doesn't work. But if I touch it, it does. Oh my god! <laughs> you like voiceover for a porno? What is you happening? Terrible. 
<laughs> swear to God, I swear to God, you're so right. Because my dad, my and my dad's pretty hip, but he's like, I, I, he's like, call me, give me a call, call, call me, give me a call. When as voice, I call him back. He answers the phone just to tell me he's busy. Let it go to voicemail. He calls, hello. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Hey, I'm busy. I'm on the other line. Come back. Come back. Come back. Like, I swear to God. I call him back. God forbid it goes to my dad's voicemail because we're a Sicilian and we just kind of, we're intense. We're just tense kind of people. Here's my dad's, my dad's voicemail just sounds kind of angry all the time. He's like, literally, this is my dad's outgoing message. Beep. Hey, it's Ray. I'm not in right now. Leave me a message. I'll call you back. <laughs> I, I'm not even making it up. So me and my brother and sisters, we're like, we're like, what's up with dad? He goes, and he writes it down, by the way. He he writes down what he's gonna record on his voice book because he's so nervous about it. So it sounds so stifled and stiff. So we're like, we, we had to tell him it sounds terrible without like getting in his head too much. We're like, just we're like, Dad, your voicemail sounds kind of angry. Just wanna just kind of lighten it up a little bit. It's, you know, yeah. Swear to God. So he <laughs> updated his outgoing message. This is his outgoing message. Hey, it's Ray. I'm not in right now. Leave me a message. I'll call you back. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hire a voiceover artist to record my dad's eyes. Outgoing message. Aren't you a voiceover this artist? <laughs> No, you're a voiceover artist. Help your dad out. Come on, bro. Yeah. I get Dude, it. Dude, hold on. I don't mean to brag. Is it pay enough? <laughs> I don't mean I, I don't mean to brag, but I, I had a voiceover audition today to be a Woody Harrelson sound alike. So nice. here was my audition. Here was my, I'm, I'm not even making this up. Here was my audition. <laughs> that was it. Wow. Yeah. Uncanny. Yeah, nice Uncanny. Yeah. Yeah. All Excellent right. Job. Excellent job. <laughs> Excellent job. <laughs> yes. And uh, hey. outstanding. We, I have a special guest who's with me. So I'm just trying to. Uh, oh, let's go. Oh, oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Hey. Where's he yes. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I'm going to go on right here. Sure. Pin him. Found oh, him on right. the side of the railroad hey, track. Declan. What's up, buddy? What's going on here? What's up, Dick? Long Ray Show? What's going on? I love it. What are you guys' this summer plans? <laughs> We're doing it. Uh, get out of quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> to be on lockdown. <laughs> That's our summer plan. What are you doing this summer? I'm going crazy. I'll be in lockdown, uh, drinking, eating, and uh, pretty much losing my sanity. Summer plans? Second wave. That's what I'm doing. Pretty yeah. Much. Right. Yeah. Second wave. Good stuff. Johnny C, everybody. Johnny C. Hi, I'll see you all I, I love those uh, Ray stories. I'm, I'm a big fan of Ray because he is Ray the does. most like, regular guy you ever meet in your life. You yeah. got, Doug, you got to bring Ray on here one of these times. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh. Totally. That would be really oh, funny. At least by phone. Totally At least by will. phone. Because he always tries to be, he tries to like imitate being like a cool guy. I'm like, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, being around comics and stuff. <laughs> Wait, can I tell you guys a true story? And I and I hate to say it, but I'm not sure if it was this pod, if this Zoom show or another Zoom show, but I did a bunch of dad jokes. You know what I mean? And my dad was watching. And and I got done. And then I, and the next day I go, hey, dad, what'd you think? And I, I'm not even making this up. He goes, lose the dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God! I swear oh to God. To Sicilian to the core. That's the first thing he said. I'm I'm 52 years old, still looking for my dad's approval. And he goes, lose the dad jokes. Lose the dad jokes. Yeah. Like, like he doesn't want to get into the tabloids. Right. And everything I say oh about God. him is true. It's true, and it's not like even like select salacious it's just true you know what i mean yeah. i'm not making up stories about him he goes he's a dad. The dad jokes yeah exactly. <laughs> oh i'll get him on here i'll get him on here yeah we gotta get him on here because he's awesome he's hilarious and very well done uh natasha i mean unbelievable forseth 
was on a tirade. Yeah. Pee Wee, I'm sorry what happened to you. Um, it was, I mean, hey, by the way, there's like a hate Q crime is... happening in Dave Forza's house. Q kind, of like the, Q kind of looks like the lead singer from One Republic. You guys oh. ever know that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you I mean, do. Uh, you look like the lead singer from One Republic. <laughs> <laughs> you been reminding, you looks like, um... been reminding me of him all night. That's a, that's I'll take, I'm, I'm cool with that. Okay. I don't know. I think he looks he looks Thanks. more like Britney Spears' manager in 1991. <laughs> Listen, now 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 you're just jealous. Now you're just jealous. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Patrick. Didn't you take her for everything? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was a backup dancer. He now lives in Peru. This is Q is living in Peru because he of tax extortion. <laughs> <laughs> Britney Spears. You didn't know that. Well, now you do. All right, good. And by the way, guys, just so you guys know, I just want you guys to make this. I just want to make this clear. Patrick Patrick Nay's background does not look like he's incarcerated at all. Okay, <laughs> just want you guys to know. <laughs> Added one. Well, yeah, exactly. on that backdrop. I'm in the can right now. <laughs> Zooming from the toilet. <laughs> that could be a whole comedy show. We could all. Yes. That'd be, that'd be hilarious. That would be great, wouldn't it? That'd be actually really funny. Nay in the can. That's what we're doing. Nay in the can. Uh -huh. Comedy in the can. It's just, yeah. a daily, just a daily blip every morning. Sure. Between sure. coffee and. Anyway. <laughs> Get your dirty guy in a slip. <laughs> Today I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian. <laughs> well, Good stuff, everybody. Yeah. Uh, a big shout out to the Sawyer for Seth. As you know, he always makes it happen in the show. There he is. Where is he? Hold he's on. Good guy. Oh, he's got a lot of energy. Like let's he's gonna. There's some kind of athletic program that he should be like in collegiate form by now because he is like. This is guys no get more energy. Like, yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, the Green Berets are like, come on down and yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> come on, work out with us. Come on down. Yeah, this is him. Yeah. <clears throat> He's got a lot of energy. But uh, you guys were great. This was amazing. Um, any last words before we go? Yeah. I enjoyed the pleasure. Get the change. I, fire. Be positive. I have one. Uh, we'll get through this. Nice to We'll done. get through Natasha. this. Natasha. I have one just because um, I'm. I'm currently raising money for an organization in the South side of Chicago uh, called Rage Anglewood. They're helping the community. Um, they, they've been around for a long time, but they're helping the community build, give resources to areas in Anglewood that don't have it. It's called Rage Anglewood. Um, if anybody's interested in donating, what, then what's, it, what's to, uh, Just Rage Anglewood, uh, if they look that up on the internet. Ben Momia and Natasha Dash Hansen Dash Two, and everything is going to Rage Inglewood. Rage. This, is, this isn't like the human fun that George Costanza did. Like it was a fake. Like this doesn't exist. <laughs> no, I, the thing is, I, I grew Natasha. I grew up on the the far south side, um, uh -huh. in the suburbs. So like you know, I had to fight my way out of the country club. But I know I'm just saying is um I know that area and it's it's a tough area and it's like it I'm sure that money would go to great use. So all That's jokes aside, and yeah. considering what we're trying to do with like refocusing community mm -hmm. awareness and, and starting over in some ways to help the community. That's a really cool thing. And uh, I will definitely hit you up for that. I promise. Q, yeah, they're, they're that goes double for story, you. So. You goes, hear me? What's that? That's my turf. We're, you, we're gonna give some money to them. I already did. Right? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, you did. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I gave some. But yeah. <laughs> send me the receipt. Why did you send me the receipt? <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were working on Project IPA. Okay. <laughs> Don't uh, They're on the way. Well, that's a great thing, and we'll definitely um, say that once more, Natasha. Yes. So it's Rage Englewood. It's it's on my Instagram story and my Facebook story, but um, my cousin works directly with them, and I like cousin to. Ray? I, yeah, my cousin Ray. Um, I like to find organizations that I know work directly with somebody that I know, so I can kind of like show people the process or the progress of what they're up to. Um, so yeah, they're they're amazing. They're they've been doing a lot of great things in the community, and they're only doing it more, especially with the Black Lives Matter movement. So. Um, yeah, it's a it's an important cause to me. I'm just trying to devote a lot of 
stuff to them right now. So very cool. Well, well, very cool. And we'll talk about we'll talk about that other stuff too. And we've got obviously a couple of people that do restaurants out there and things of that nature. Maybe there's something that we could Yeah, there's a lot of action yeah. on the south side. You know. Um Dave Forsath, final word. Thanks for having me. And uh Doug, I want some of that coffee. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fooling anybody, am I? <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? Never. We thought I thought, I, I, thought like you were, this. I thought he was on a boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, thought I thought he was on a cruise <laughs> ship. <laughs> Gallons, you know. It's obviously oh, cruise memory. Oh, hey, <laughs> can, can I advertise or what? <laughs> I'm on I'm on the Flappers uh, comedy uh, headliner show tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Nice. Uh, Pacific. So cool. if you guys like to log in, go to flapperscomedy.com. Okay. Nine, nine, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of good shows on there. Hit the hit those guys are trying to survive. Is that hit 9 that p.m. Up. Pacific? So, yep. Yeah. Pacific. Yep. Pacific. Okay. Great, great. Yep. And, and uh, is that it? Great. We got? Yeah. Um, great you time. guys, really great, really funny, really awesome. Q, thank you for doing this as usual. Yeah. We are Good pals. I love you guys. Um, very funny. And um, I can't wait to, I can't wait to do this live. I mean, it's going to be like a, like a miracle or something. So. Honestly, I, I agree. We're going to get yeah. a, a case of candles and go back to Wisconsin, right? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's with me? Who's with me? Well, I know. And Natasha, you're on your way back out here Saturday, right? Saturday. Whoa, calm down. Get a room, you two. Wow. Oh, yeah, easy. No. Oh, so, yeah. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> uh, no, we're talking about being able to do some stuff, get some stuff going yeah. out here. I mean, we're talking. That's what I'm talking about. Get a room, oh, no, Johnny, Johnny. Johnny, that's high octane coffee. <laughs> Johnny C is going to jump on the old, uh, the, the, the train, the old boxcar willy to uh, Sioux City, Iowa. <laughs> Did you just literally say the old boxcar willy? Wow. You think I use old references? Oh my god. And my mom is gonna be performing next week, so check it out. Give it oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it up for the under the zoom in right. We're on right now. We're on right now. How about mom does one joke right now? Yes, yes. I'm fine with that. Let's go. Let's do it. One joke. Um, one joke. Come on, Mom. You, can you get it out? Can you get yep. the camera I got a camera? Yep, it's on. I got a joke. Oh. Okay, so there's a, a rabbi, a priest, oh, and a minister. They're gone fishing, out fishing, having a great time. And they thought, okay, we're out here. We're just going to confess. So the, the, the minister goes, I got to confess something. You guys are my friends. I'm going to confess. I have a drinking problem. <laughs> And they're like, dude, we're here for you. So then the priest decides to say, well, since we're confessing, I'm going to fess up. I've got an issue with porn. <laughs> and so they, they, they both are like, dude, we're here for you. I'm going to pray for you. So they look at the rabbi and he's like, I got to confess. I have an issue with gossip and I can't wait to get back to shore. <laughs> there you go. That's my joke. Whoa. Whoa. That was a closer right there. Carmen Hansen, am everybody. Carmen Hansen. Am I going to get shit for that? <laughs> no. That was a closing bit. They've been under fire for a long time. Oh, no. So no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I get it. Under fire. I get it. Under I fire. It. Yeah. Below Below fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you want to catch oh, um, Natasha's boy. mom, she'll be performing in 1947 no, at Joe's uh, Joe's pub bar and grill. At the lobster? That's right, yeah. <laughs> and Main yeah, Street, USA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be cracking the jokes there. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. you were great. We appreciate it. Great job, guys. Q, close us out. Listen, everybody, thank you very much. Uh, again, uh, still thinking about everything else we've gone through in the last week or so. Um, you know, keep, keep everybody, keep, keep your heads focused on this. You know, Black Lives Matter. Let's, uh, you know, keep conversations happening. We've had some great ones in the last week, like we said, on Thursday and Monday, Mindful Mondays, and we're most likely going to continue it again this Monday. So tune in. Q loves you all for that. Uh, of course, we'll be doing some comedy, keeping it going on next Thursday. But uh, have an amazing weekend. Thank you all for coming out here and doing this again. I really appreciate it. We all needed some laughs. It was really, really nice. It, was, it felt really good today, it was right? nice meeting you guys. Yes. Bye. Nice go Packers. Let's go Packers. Yeah. Have no. a great, great weekend. No
Go so, Bears. Go oh, Vikes. Skull. Bears. Go oh. Bears. Bears. Oh bears. God. Bears. Connie C. Cleveland Browns. No. 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 All right, guys. That's not even a team. Everybody be well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bobby Browns. <laughs>